Good morning everyone. How are you today? So I thought I would just uh, film a little update because I haven't been vlogging or anything. Actually I did vlog one day but then I thought it was really bad so I didn't uh, edit and I just deleted everything. But anyway yeah I just wanted to give you an update particularly on Odi's health and how he's doing because a lot of you have been asking and it's just so sweet to know that so many people care about him. Can you see him on the back there? If you're wondering, we are. Oh, can you see? It's beautiful, isn't it? We are in a huge rapeseed uh, uh, oil field. I uh, don't know if you have this in your country, but in England they do this a lot. Uh, they make uh, oil from uh, the seeds of this flower and it has a very distinctive smell. Uh, and why is it called rapeseed? I never understood. If anybody knows, then let me know. But yes, yeah, so what's been going on? Um, first of all, before you ask, Pam has passed her MOT, which I'm very happy about. And she only needed to get some work done, like the drive shaft, which I don't even know what it is. Don't ask me. I just got it done. And also I got a new battery because it kept leaving me stranded. And I just thought, let's change it. But uh, in terms of Audi, so we went to the vet, which is, uh, I mean, I say it's his vet, but actually it's not his vet. It's a, it's a veterinary practice and every time there's a different vet. So it, it didn't change that much that going from a different vet in France. But anyway, that's another story. But she was absolutely lovely and kind of explained what happened to him. And she did a lot of tests on him specifically to test his reflex. And what she said is basically that it's very likely that it is uh, that he uh, that he had well she's sure that she he had some brain damage that it could be either a stroke or a, a brain tumor and uh, since he's been having epilepsy attacks uh, seizure attacks every about two weeks he had just a third one last week uh, it's more likely that it could be a tumor but the only way to get to know that is to do either a uh, scan uh, well no that's the only way to to do that is to do a, a scan which is one extremely expensive and kind of pointless and because um, even if he does have a tumor then they, they wouldn't operate on it because he's too old and there's very few surgeons that do that and also he will need to be on anesthetics uh, to get the scan done which for an old dog is just a bad idea so we decided to just stay with the unknown and um, keep his drugs going and just see how he does so for the next few months we're not gonna be traveling outside of the UK at least as I said I'm trying to find a Oh, I'm so hot. It's hot today. I'm trying to find a little place where we can uh, kind of use as a base. So stay there a few days a week and then travel a few days a week or I don't know, just have somewhere where we know we can go back if things get rough or if maybe we want to have a week or two week uh, just chilling. It all depends on how he's doing. Um, those few days he's actually been doing very well. And uh, another thing that the vet uh, showed me is that he's actually up, not well probably totally blind from the left eye and I did think he was losing his sight because he kept stumbling on things and um, uh, yeah just bumping into things and it's just this eye the left eye and I'll show you actually it's really interesting what she did so she tested the reflex on him so what she showed me is that if you uh, put your hand very quickly next to his eye his uh, lid should blink so you can see here Odi this one <laughs> you can see he like closes his lid while this one on the other side he doesn't do anything basically I really have to go very close to his uh, eye for it to uh, close um, you're a good boy so that makes a lot of sense because it's uh, so now I can stand on the side where he can see and he is a lot better walking um, next to me and like not bumping into things and what else what else so yeah he's doing a lot a lot better 
um, and uh, the only thing is that one of the drugs that uh, he's on it's a corticosteroid so well there's two things eventually will stop working and uh, it's not particularly good for the liver and the kidneys I uh, can't remember which one of the two so it's not great to have it on him but it's the only thing really that uh, can make him feel a bit better and also one huge side effect of the drug is that it honestly is crazy at around half six to seven he goes at night he goes absolutely crazy and <laughs> basically he's restless he barks he whines he can't sit down he just wants attention and he wants food and when you give him food it's like if you never gave him food and he starts all over again so I feed him and then he starts bar barking and whining and whining and whining because he wants more food and uh, it goes on until 10 at night and if I gave him all the food that he wanted uh, he would be like I don't know where I cut that there was no more space in my card but yeah that's one of the side effects of the meds but uh, and it's uh, I mean, I, I've looked online and there's people that have dogs waking up in the middle of the night and barking and barking for like the rest of the night. So I'm lucky that he can sleep around 10. After 10, he's okay. But between 7 and 10, boy, it's hard work because there's nothing you can do to like make him relax and it's just painful to watch and painful to hear because he has a big voice. And um, what else? So in regards for the accommodation, uh, thank you so much to all of you that sent me messages about uh, our wood offers and like tips. I so appreciate it and some of them you were really really kind and caring so I'm really appreciative for that. Unfortunately uh, they were all kind of not in the location that I want to be uh, so I went to Edinburgh just a few days ago to have a look at, at a caravan that was there. Oh there's a rabbit over there, um, a hare and it was an absolute dump like honestly you know i'm not used to luxury or like i don't need much to be happy but this place like he didn't make any effort to make it look nice and the guy was actually really really nice but i think he just wants to get it rented and and that's it he wasn't really into cleaning or anything so he just left it as the last tenants left it which was just and it was just very old, it was damp and it was like really close to actually the city center which I don't want, I don't want to be close to a city center uh, so I went there and after I was a bit deflated because I thought it could be the one, it could be like a nice spot, like a nice base because Edinburgh, you know, it's close to... oh wait, there's a there, a hare I think uh, a deer yeah, there's a, there's a deer over there, I don't know if you can see it oh, it's hiding so yes, after that, I went to Glasgow as well. There was another caravan there, but I ended up not going just because it would have probably been in like a big park with a lot of caravans, which is not what I'm looking for. I'm lo looking for something, you know, quiet, a bit outside the centers. Um, so yeah, I'm still on the lookout for something. I'm gonna go and look at something next week um, and see how that goes. Fingers crossed. Like finding, trying to find accommodation, uh, for cheap and uh, for not like a six months or 12 months contract and with a pet is just absolutely a nightmare and uh, it kind of reminded me why I chose to live in a van in the first place because it's just like paying that much rent on something that it's just like it to me it feels like wasted money like you just I know that and I, I, I paid rent for many years you know I'm not judging anybody that does it because I know uh, where you're coming from and that you sometimes you just have no choice but to me I don't it doesn't feel right to give 500 pounds a month for it just goes like poof I mean I'd much rather leave like I don't know in a tent than do that um, but yeah those are the news and uh, we're gonna go and enjoy the sun man it's so warm it's crazy I think there's gonna be a heat wave in uh, England um, this weekend it's Easter holiday uh, but yeah we're gonna keep walking up that way I'll show you around look how beautiful this is and I will see you very soon bye 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 bye